But, teacher, in crashes like this, I've always wondered why cars can get so badly damaged, yet the people in the car often escape relatively unharmed. That's due to the wondrous power of physics. Specifically, our knowledge of momentum and impulse has helped to reduce people getting hurt in collisions. Momentum is not the same as moment of a force, right? No, they are different, although both of them involve objects with mass. Momentum. This word sounds familiar. Yes, you see, in physics, Momentum is mass in motion. Hence, any moving mass will have momentum. That means any mass that is not moving does not have momentum? Indeed. So a moving object with more mass will have more momentum. Similarly, a faster moving object will have more momentum as compared to a slower moving object. Oh, well, that reminds me. Of what? Now, I know why it hurts more when a heavy person bumps into me or when a guy who is running knocks into me. That's a collision right there. And after a collision, we sometimes move backwards, sometimes move forwards, and sometimes we don't move at all. Remember that? Yes. Momentum is used to accurately predict the motion of objects during such collisions. How does that work? Well, momentum is simply the multiplication of mass and velocity of an object. So, the formula is very simple. Momentum is represented with the symbol P. And the formula for momentum is P equals to M times V. It is a vector value that has both magnitude and direction. So you will need to remember your directions, as well as your positives and negatives when working with this value. So momentum is used to work out the speed and direction of an object after a collision? Yep, and in some cases, before a collision as well. Interesting.